Hello guys, welcome back uh, to a tutorial series whereby we are creating a Laravel CRUD application with uh, Vue.js, Inertia and Laravel. And in this case, in this tutorial today, I would like us to just handle flash messaging. It's going to be a short video. And before we start, if you have not subscribed, I ask that you may subscribe. Now, um, so in our previous tutorials, we have been working on a sort of a CRUD application just familiarizing with um, Laravel Inertia View uh, implementation and today I would like us to just look at um, flash messaging. So I want us to just give in the information to the customers when an action has been done and we are redirecting so we can be able to redirect with a flash message and I would like to just um, do that for two things. When uh, probably we are creating a customer here, when we have this form and you have created a customer and you have submitted, I would like us to have a flash message that says um, something about what has happened. And in this case, because we are all, for all the requests, we are di redirecting towards the, the, the index.view page, this is exactly where we are going to put our code for the flash message. But before we do that in the controller, after we have stored a user, we can be able to just say return redirect and then we are going to attach with just the same way we do flash messages in Laravel. So with, and in this case, we can say message and then we pass in our message so maybe customer created successfully and i would like to also implement the same where we are editing a customer because that is what we did in our immediate previous tutorial so here where we are editing and so when uh, we are editing and updating so once we have updated also we are redirecting message with a message customer created successfully i think this one we did in our previous tutorial i think i have just found the code already typed in and uh, that means we already have it and uh, also where we are having um the store method also I would also like to have the same I think we, we we typed in update so here we are also going to have with maybe message customer created successfully and then this one the method for editing editing i think we have somewhere we are editing our customer that is updating here i think i would like to change its customer edited successfully and then also for delete i will also want to have a message for that for uh, after we have deleted when we are redirecting we can also have a message here which will be saying customer deleted deleted success fully now how are we going to pass uh, this information to our inertia front end we can be able to use the middleware so i would like us to go to the middleware that we we created when we were installing uh, inertia and it is this middleware called inertia uh, handle handle inertia requests that middleware and here i would like us to just add something whenever you want to have some piece of data that is available entirely 
in your in all your pages and components and whatever uh, you will use this second method in our handle inertia requests to be able to do that so I would like to just have um, to put some piece of code which will be able to include our message in this case we can have flash and then an array of uh, data in this case so if we have any other thing that we want to add here we can be able to add in a similar way and so we are checking for message and in this case we have a closure request session get in this case message so you'll be getting the message from session and then after that we will now go ahead and display whatever it is that we have here so i want to go to our index dot view page and uh looking at it it's a uh, is a little bit you can see it's loaded towards the edge maybe i can uh, create some space maybe let me just do it by using the the br tag there are better ways of doing this but for now i would just like to have it that way such that the table is a little bit yes moved downwards on top of that i would like now to have our or in other words display our error or in other words success message in this case what we're having are success messages because as you can see we are returning the flash message when we have completed a task so let us go ahead and uh, and just have a div so i want us to have a div here div and this div i want it to have a class of alert and then alert success and then we are going to pass in whatever it is that uh, is the error i mean is the success message and in this case we are going to display this uh, success uh, div when we have a message so in this case we are going to check if we have a message using the v if directive we are going to check for page dot props dot flash dot message like that so if that message is uh, in existence then we are going to display it here so i'm going to have uh, curly braces and what we are going to display here is page again the same thing page dot props dot flash dot message so I'll just copy this and paste it here and basically if everything has gone well then that is all that we have to do so i would like to just save and attempt to to maybe create a user a new user maybe we can have alvin james and email is alvin uh, example.com 
and the phone number maybe something of that sort when we save as you can see we have customer created successfully maybe i can just be able to just bold it a little bit I can just put bold or maybe i can just put strong to just uh, make it a little bit bolded make that I can attempt to create another customer uh, maybe uh, Caleb and the email is uh, Caleb at uh, gmail.com and the phone submit as you can see we have customer created successfully i want us to attempt and uh, delete so we will delete this one and you can see customer deleted successfully i would want us also to have um, edit a customer so here we are going to call uh, Alvin Calvins and when we submit again customer edited successfully thank you very much for following this tutorial video up until here I appreciate your support I appreciate that you have uh, continually supported me with the uh, subscription likes comments uh, in my video and making the videos more engaging and even just for taking time and going through this tutorial video. Thank you very much until next time